Hey, hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. And here we go with the review and the unboxing of Star Wars Remnant Trooper. Now, straight away the box. I mean, I've, I've looked forward to getting one of these for a while, but the prices of these things are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, at the moment, pretty much any Stormtrooper, especially from the original line of Stormtroopers, are going for stupid money. I mean, they're like £300 plus. A remnant trooper, a lot of things, you're seeing them going for nearly 400 quid, and it's like, really? Really? You're going to pay that much for it? And I mean, that's in pounds, so that, you know, those that are in American dollars and Australian dollars, you know, you're, you're talking about that, that's going up again, you know, because obviously I think they're sort of, they're going rate, you can almost do it sort of one, almost one and a half times whatever it is I'm thinking, you know, it's, it, it's crazy money, as far as I'm concerned, it's crazy money, and there's no way on God's earth was I going to be paying out £300 plus for something like this. But I do like the look of the box, you know, it looks really nice. It's a typical sort of your Star Wars box. You can see there's a little bit of damage up here, but again, I'm not bothered. It's a bloody box, for Christ's sake. It's just to put the damn figure in. If it's thingy, you know, it's not like I'm sort of, I don't, I don't intentionally buy anything to sell it on. Sometimes if something comes up is an absolutely unbelievable offer, then yes, I may take it on thinking, to myself, well, I wasn't really that bothered about it, but you know, at that price, I can at least look at it, and if it's good, great, I've got another great figure for me to collection. If it's not, then I can flog it on. But, you know, this thing, I've sort of not bought it to flog it on. I bought it to sort of keep a hold of it. So there you go, and there's your, your normal box thingy. So we'll get this now opened up. I'll have to do like the overhead for this bit as well. So we'll change to the overhead camera and show you once it's opened up. Now look good guys from the overhead you can see that's a beautiful inlay I really like that you know the two f figures there it's a really beautiful inlay and then there you go and you don't seem to get a huge amount with this guy but then again what do you need you know the figure itself even from here looks just beautiful so what I'll do is I'll get all the accessories out not that there's many to look at but we'll get the accessories out show you the accessories then we'll go and have a look at the figure in more detail guys but First off, we'll get the accessories out. So as you can see guys, there isn't a great deal comes with it. You know, but like I said to you before, really what what do you need? What do you want? Yeah, you know, I mean you could go on forever adding stuff to these things. Especially at the three hundred and pound price tag that's been banging around for a while. I would have expected more if that was the original price, but the original price wasn't that. Yeah, and I'm getting this at a reasonably good price considering what it's been going for. So this I'm happy enough with. Yeah, and I'm even happier that this thing hasn't got that stupid sand thingy with the bloody feet already put onto it. It would have been nice to just have like a sandy style base because they were based in that type of an area in environment. Yeah, so it would have been nice to have a sandy style base but without the bloody feet things already in it. But you know, the fact that you've got the base and it's a metal name plug with the remnant stormtrooper written on it and star wars on it that's cool enough you know what i mean leave the job in both standard crotch grabber what more do you need it'll do the job you have the extra wrist pegs which again you know why they can't follow suit with sideshow and actually just put wrist pegs into each one of your thing is it's beyond me it's not like that's going to break the bank for them because it wouldn't you know i know you'll deal with when you're pulling them out you don't know where it's, where it's going to be coming from here or where it's going to come from there it doesn't matter though, does it you would still just use a pair of pliers and pull the damn thing and i think you'll have that, that bit so it's glued inside the hand and it can't come out you know what i mean and then you're just you're just taking it from the other side but you know this is how you do it so this is how you get it got plenty of hands but again this is what thingies me, is like, why always more left hands than right hands? It, it's just, you know, what, why? What's, what's the crack in that? What's the thingy of it? Why not have the same amount of hands for each thing? Doesn't make any sense, but there you go. 
that's just my look on it here yeah, but again look at this one guys you know can you see this you see the details to it yeah, you can see that the gloves aren't just sort of one sort of color to it, one blackness to it it's you've got a little bit of shiny black and the dull black matte black yeah it's really cool you've got a bit of texture there to it and of course the weathering on there is just fantastic you know i, I love that and obviously that's a gun holding hand you have two fisted ones which i'm not going to show you both the fisted because it's pretty pointless you know there's going to be the, pretty much the same thingy but again just you know look at the textures look at the things to it beautifully beautifully made for the size of the figures and what have you you know it, it's fantastic and of course these two are fairly similar in the fact that they're open palmed so we'll show you the other one for a change but look at that one guys wow the weathering on that you know the the sort of scuffs the damage to it it's just beautiful yeah. i'm really liking sort of this idea of the sort of the being around a long time the, the the weathered and haggard style look to the suits just absolutely amazing and as you can see you've got two weapons you got the pistol so one which again is really cool that it's weathered it looks like it's been around for quite a while and seen some amount of thingy in its day and i think that's just really cool obviously because it's a thingy there's on this particular one there's no moving parts you know it's a it's a blaster so you don't need to sort of pull out any of the things out like that for it so you know i mean, I mean that would have been nice if this could have it came off but yeah, it still just looks absolutely beautiful and then of course this one again this does move and actually for once it actually goes to where it's supposed to because i've seen plenty of these things where that doesn't go right the way back like that so it can sit as a shoulder holster you know where you can put it against the butt of the shoulder and see you can have it down that to thing as well but you know that this thing where you can put it against the shoulder and all that and it's just very unusual to see it where you can actually get it back there plenty of them do not do that you know, there's a lot of them do not do that in a case it's just, it just does just click into place stays in place beautifully you know all these things again pretty much no moving parts they don't need to you know it's a blaster but it does look beautiful man absolutely beautiful and again it has all the absolute little bits of weathering and what have you out to it i think it looks well cool yeah, brilliant little thing so now we'll get out the remnant trooper himself and see just how beautiful the remnant trooper himself is and here he is guys the remnant trooper and i gotta say guys i mean i do think he looks absolutely fantastic you know he I wouldn't like to pay three hundred pound plus for him. It's it, you know, it's a beautiful figure. It's well detailed. It's been gloriously done. You know, the weathering and everything on it is just outstanding, and he certainly looks friggin' fantastic. But to say that they're they're going for like well over three hundred quid, nah, that's just not something I'd want to do. Yeah. But, my God, does he look friggin' great, you know what I mean? He does look absolutely stunning. You know, you, you, I'll be pulling him up close and getting a closer view of him. You know, obviously going through articulation, which is usually with these things aren't the best in the world because of the way the, the armaments and the, are on the figures. But the suit underneath does look pretty damn good for being able to have some form of articulation to them now, which is it, it's better than a lot of the figures that you get especially some of the ones that I've seen lately where they've had like that rubbery style material underneath which is just really bad for trying to pose and this one is actually just like a material underneath which is really good but guys honestly it just looks stunning yeah bring it up close and you can see the detail on that helmet I'll just pull this light back a little bit more so we can get a 
and personal there you know up close and personal that is just absolutely you know pitted weathered dirty scruffy and it just looks amazing you know it just absolutely does look amazing the grain the dirt you know it's like literally sort of the same all over his uniform and that you know it's just grain dirt pits in it you know, it's all just painted it's all like just paint work on it it's not like there's any dints or out there in the actual thing itself it's all just I think but that just goes to prove to you just how good they are with doing the paint work when it'll be stuff like that you know, and make something look as cool as that yeah it's just Outstanding, beautiful, a gorgeous, gorgeous piece, and I'm well, well chuffed that I managed to eventually get one at a sort of a reasonable enough price. You know, I'm well chuffed. As you can see, it's not a huge amount of thing to be able to look down, but you've got a little bit of the motion and tilt and what have you but not not a huge amount this bit's a bit that's a bit thingy for me because it seems to be sitting up too high and it's like it doesn't really want to sit down any lower so it seems like it's, like it's little oop, there's one of these hands popped off the way i've been trying to maneuver and run but it's, it's just this seems to sit a little bit high see off his actual thingy there so it's it's strange but Hey, it is what it is. Spell me two seconds, I'll put his hand back on and then we'll do the articulation and his shoulders. So, only getting it up about as far as that. There's obviously the, the thing here. It's getting it even though it's on an elastic around here. That you probably can't make it because it's black on black. But there is a piece of elastic going around it so it can be moved a little bit but that's basically up as far as it's going to go you do have the butterfly joint in there it does have bicep swivel which is cool moving forward you can get it pretty much up a good amount you can see you've got your bicep swivel there which is cool to see you're getting a good double bend That's cool. You've got obviously your normal sort of wrist pegs. So that's one of the things I did notice. So unless I've uh, missed something, and I'll have to go back and have a look quickly through the thingy, but there didn't seem to be any other spare wrist pegs, which is strange for hot toys not to give you spare wrist pegs, but there you go. You go back, pretty much about that. And then it springs back in there, place nicely there. I don't think you're going to get like, any sort of crunch or anything like that because of the fact is obviously the, the armor plating around here. You know, it's you can get a little bit of stuff. Up. See, there's his hand come off again. I've just got to worry about the fact is if I leave his hand off, he's bloody thing he'll come off. So let's just bring that back on a little bit so it holds it in place. Okay, so like you say, you you can get like a bit of upper torso thing, but it's. It's pretty much just actually this bit that's that's moving, you know what I mean? So you're not gonna get much in the way of that. Yeah. Thigh swivel itself, I can't feel any because obviously this is the bit that's moving. I can't feel any sort of thing either. There is a little bit, but you can get it out pretty much as far as that. Forward. I mean it's, it's as per usual with a lot of these things, you know, you're not getting much moving forward and you certainly get nothing in the way of going back over which is always a crying shame you've got a reasonable amount going back and obviously because there's a joint thing in there and it's a split cut boot you're getting a really good sorry all that guys can see really good amount of movement on there and then you just pull that back down over the top of it to hide it away so that's pretty cool yeah 
that's what you're getting from the thingy. And like I say, this character does look absolutely beautiful. Mm. Getting him to stand up with me bloody thingy again. It's just, like I say, it's this part here that it's like, it rides up and it just doesn't seem to sit 100% right for me. It's, I mean, you can see it there, it, it's riding, it's sitting up off of his traps and his, where his shoulders are. Um, so that's strange, it seems to me that there's nothing you can do about it. But I still think that it's an amazing looking character. You know, you kind of going around. Let's put one of his guns in his hands and see how he looks like that. But I mean, that, yeah, that is just beautiful. It is a beautiful looking character. And I love the weathering on it. It's... You know, it's definitely one that'll stay because I'm into me Mandalorian stuff anyway, so it's gonna sort of go well. It's just now a case of again, once again, I'm stuck with a thing. If they could, where do I put them for the time being? What do I do with them? How do I pose them up and stuff like that? That's always the hardest thing for me now. Is like it ain't choosing some of the cars because I want so many of them. It's literally finding the space, finding how I want to pose them, and all that type of stuff. That's the hardship. So. That's why it's always good to be in some of these Facebook groups and what you might get some sort of thingy from there that'll give you ideas of like how we could go around posing them and stuff like that. But he's a beautiful looking character, guys. Beautiful looking character. There we go, guys. It's going in a very simple, simplistic pose for now. Um, like I say, when I eventually get him in the pose that I want him in properly and all that type of stuff, I'll probably end up doing another tour of the man cave at some point and you'll be able to see what. I've eventually come up with. Um, like I say, for now, I've got no fucking idea where I'm going to put him, how I'm going to have him posed, or anything else like that. I just wanted to put the gun in his hand, see what he would look like, and I do think this character is just absolutely beautiful. You know, it's a beautifully made one. It would be nice to pick up more, but like I say, at the price, even the price I paid this time round, you know, it's not like something that I can go, oh yeah, I'll pick up fucking three, four, five of these things at that price, you know what I mean? It's 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 just too much money. You know what I mean? It's too much money. If eventually the like some of the other sort of Star Wars things that in the past have went down in price to a point where you can, then yes, I will probably pick up a few more of them to have them posed up as like a troop or have them in with some of the different characters in order to have them fighting different characters and what have you. But for the time being, I'm pleased I've managed to pick one up. In fact, I'm delighted I've managed to pick one up. And I got them at a sort of a reasonable price, considering what they're going for at the minute. So I'm happy enough, because he, he's a beautiful looking piece. You know, he really is a beautiful looking piece. Um, just to show you, anyway, just to show you the difference between them, I'll bring out one of the clean Stormtroopers, okay? One of the clean ones, and we'll show you just a slight comparison between the clean one and this guy. So what I'm getting it is, isn't the one that's like 100% clean. I do have the ones that are 100% friggin' clean as well. Um, but this one's a guy that I use at the minute. He's, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, this guy actually I have with the two bottles of Stormtrooper beer. Um, I have him sort of holding the two bottles of Stormtrooper beer. But you can still see how much different they are. Yeah. So the helmets are slightly different. And I'm not just talking about the fact of that, like the sort of the weathering, yeah, because the it's it's obvious, blatantly obvious, the weathering is totally different. But the suits are slightly sort of different, you know, the slight, very slight tweaks and difference on, in the suits. But the vast majority, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, there is one thing that I wanted to, to pull up though with this remnant troop. I think is like, where's this gun supposed to go? If he hasn't got in his hand, where's it supposed to go? You know, that one you can see he's got a holster to put his gun in. This one hasn't got a holster for his gun. Now I don't know whether that's something that's like been missing from Walmart after look at someone else's video. You do have I don't know how well you can see it. You see there, that little knobble bit at the bottom? I would have expected that he could have used that to to sort of like push it into his, one of his um leg pieces as a way of it just against his leg piece you know I'll have it like a magnet or something but no there's nothing like that and there's no places on the leg pieces that I can actually see for that to attach to so it's like right so what's he supposed to do with that that's just you know where did he have it if he didn't have it in his hand you know they, they must have had somewhere that they placed them on themselves in order to have them with them so where does it go 
you know, where does it go? Because that bit there, you would think that little knobble bit that's sticking out just here would have sort of slid into something on his leg or something like that to think, or that he would have gotten like this one, a gun hose that I put it on, but there's nothing. So that's, that's sort of a strange thing to me. It doesn't make any sense yeah, as to why you wouldn't have somewhere where you can attach it to. I mean, I will have another look at them when I think it, but I've had a damn good look around them and I can't find anywhere it's supposed to attach to. But other than that, guys, you know, you can see the figure itself. He is just absolutely beautifully made, beautifully sculpted. Just looks fantastic. And I am so, so freaking happy to have him in my collection now. Anyway, guys, this is the Bearded Nerdy Earth. I've water pulled on and off. So I'll catch you in the next one. I am out of here, guys. So what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. What? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I wasn't. Why would I ever <laughs> okay, say that? Okay. I mean... <laughs>